Um, it was a great honor to see his dreams uh, about this park come to fruition. And I think yesterday um, was a testament to, to really um, making things happen. The Ministry of Environment, Kenya Forest Services, and other government agencies came together and in three months um, really did a wonderful job with Michuki Park. The river is clean, it's flowing, there's fish there, it's safe, the, the trees have grown, they're beautiful bamboos, there's an amphitheater for people to perform, uh, there's a bamboo center. So there, it, it really, in the heart of Nairobi, which had sort of been abandoned and given up on, um, what we have is a green space. And um, I think the government has made a commitment to um, create more green spaces, to, to restore uh, Nairobi to what it once was, which was a green city in the sun. So it was a fantastic occasion to honor our dad, our late dad. Um, you know, he was, a, he was a, a person who, when he made a commitment, when he committed to something, he did it. And um, I think the thing that we loved the most about him was that he was a visionary. You know, he first um, created a vision in his mind, and he did this by consulting many people as well. You know, he was always on the phone, talking to people, getting opinions, finding out what people wanted, because his vision was about making a positive difference in people's lives. I think that was the one consistent thing, and he delivered, you know. Um, he really was an elder of a golden heart in everything that he did in his public service. So we appreciate him as a family as much as you do. I think we, we, we all recognize that he made a difference for, for all of us. Um, and we miss him terribly as a family. Um, but his legacy carries on. We're, we're exceptionally proud of him. Um, and of course our mom, who was always with him by his side, uh, helping him in all of his, his